here we go. <laughs> All right, people, you are watching the South Music Roundtable with a focus on Alabama this episode uh, as a state. And we're going we're gonna to knock out some bands that you should hear if you haven't already heard. And uh, if you have heard them, then you can just agree with us silently at home. Uh, I'd like to kick it off with Alabama Shakes, uh, probably the biggest band in, in Alabama right now in, in, in a weird way because they just got signed to a record label in uh, London. Oh, they got um, signed to ATO. I was like, isn't that Dave Matthews or isn't he involved yeah, with that? Records, yeah. yeah, ATO Records. It's, it's, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. Yeah, I, I, I know they were in... Uh, the perfect time for them, man. Thank you, sir. Uh, I know they, they were in Nashville this past week recording their first full length uh, on someone's dime. So that's nice. Great, great people. And I, I don't see any way they're not going to be huge in the, in the coming year. Steve? But, I mean, one thing that's a testament to them, to me personally, is that they had red light management backing them before they even had a bio, online press kit. They didn't have a name. I mean, to him right now yeah i know i think they sound great so far i just want to put in a word for uh, jason isbel in the 400 unit um uh, i'm originally from northwest alabama that florence muscle shoals area uh he's from there the uh drive-by truckers are from there and he was with the truckers for quite a while and wrote just some incredible songs for them but the 400 unit where that band name came from it's the uh psychiatric care unit at one of the hospitals in, in the Florence Muscle Shoals area. And he said that, he, he drew this connection, he said, you know, the hospital used to, like, take their patients and bring them into town one day a month, give them 15 bucks and let them walk around, you know, and sort of mainstream a little bit. And he said that was an awful lot like being in a band and rolling into town. You had 10 bucks to get your lunch, and people knew you didn't quite fit. But I would say... I well, I moved into this room. If you could call it that a week ago, I never do what I'm supposed to do. Hardly even know my name anymore. When no one calls it out, it kind of vanishes away. And I can't get to sleep at night. The parking lot so loud and bright. The AC hasn't worked. There's one thing I can't stand It's this bar and this cover band Trying to fake their way through castles made of sand well, That's one thing I can't stand Banditos to me is everything that is right about country music. They play it the right way. You know, and it's kind of weird that country music now, the right way is called alternative country. They have a stand-up bass player that looks like Hagrid from Harry Potter. I mean, what's not to love there? Like, if, they ever, if they ever come in town, wherever they're playing, if you hear about it, just go. Just go. You won't be disappointed.
very impressed with the great book of John when they played here as part of Load Alive. I, I've forgotten about them. Probably, probably the loudest band that will ever play Callahan's. <laughs> 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 put in a word for A.A. A. Bondi. Uh, I don't, I'm not real familiar with his recordings, but he was at the first Hangout Fest. Was down down from Birmingham. Uh, I don't know that he had ever played in this area. I don't know that there was a lot of awareness about him, but was very impressive in that live performance, and I've been waiting for him to come, come to Mobile ever since. Behind the red door in American skin There is a murder of roses And in the midnight hits Come cover me there Where I am electric nothing Out on the tide Strangers are from the Haints and his wife who you know is also in the Haints have a band called uh, the Divine Six, seven. The Divine oh, Six okay. seven and it's all girls except for Jamie and uh, and they absolutely shred they're amazing Outside of Mobile, that I really, really dig, Kalukale from Tuscaloosa, fantastically good, and um, and Halo Stereo. They did some Night Zoo free concert stuff uh, down at the Hangout. Or weekend before last at the Alley Bar in we'll Montgomery, and uh, we were on the bill with Air El Canador, and Vulture Whale was also playing there. Really good band from Birmingham, and it was it was awesome. It was awesome to have like that mobile presence up there, you know. And you know. Cards.
Caleb, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and I just want to uh, uh, stress, I think Birmingham's got one of the uh, one of the best music scenes that I've seen in the country, at least as good as Atlanta's with uh, 13 Ghosts and Vulture Whale and uh, Through the Sparks and uh, Delicate Cutters. I know we don't listen to them a lot, but they get, you know, they get written up and Pitchfork and a lot of the national media. And I think if there's one thing that I would ask for, for Mobile is not only listen to Mobile bands, but listen to Birmingham bands and bands like Doc Dale out of Muscle Shoals. So I think that, you know, we've been working with Load Alive to try and connect Birmingham and Mobile and New Orleans. Chuck's lined up single file on my record collection. Got my tasers on the start and I'm swinging in the right direction. Got my radio tuned to the independent rock and roll station. Got my cemetery shirt and I'm heading to the Crystal Convention. Well, the snow was falling heavy, but it's looking like it's starting to rain now. I've got my Donald Duck slicker and my ponytail holder to go now.
I'll definitely say that Alabama as a state, music-wise, uh, it gets written off a lot. And we have artists, we have all these musicians, and it's just it's just a struggle. I mean, like we have a lot of talented people. Like, I remember talking to Alabama Shakes; they were saying how they had to they had to uh, commit to play a bunch of covers just to get booked, even when they started out. They, you know, they'd like they'd be like, "All right, you're gonna play a three-hour set, but it's got to be at least uh, half." Cover. Listen to a local album if you're doing your Christmas shopping. How cool is it to actually give somebody an album from? the place where you live rather than just going out and buying something out of the top 10. Mm-hmm. 